Hey guys, so it's time to take a look at the latest Geek Fuel, which has arrived, and I honestly don't remember what is supposed to be in here, but I've already got notification that the next one is ready to be sent, so we need to kind of pick up the pace apparently with these unboxings and see what we got this time around. So I'm, as usual, really looking forward to seeing what the pin is this time around. They've really set up a thing with that, so we'll see how this goes. If you're interested in Geek Fuel, definitely check out the link below so you can see what the pricing is like and shipping for your area. But let's take a look and see what Geek Fuel has to offer this time around. And as usual, we will set the magazine aside for later. The first thing up this time around is the downloadable Steam game. One of the things that's nice about Geek Fuel is that they always include a downloadable game. So if you like actually experimenting with different types of games and seeing what's available, they usually do have a, a downloadable code. And this time it is for the Dwarf Run. Let's see what this is about. Join the expedition to the ancient underworld temple undertaken by young dwarf Delane Stonecruncher. Delane and his friends are about to join the rebellion, meet strange beings, defeat the most powerful of demons, and even travel to space. So dwarfs in space, if you're interested in checking that out, you need to go over to Steam and look up the dwarf run. So we'll see whether or not that's something we end up trying at some point. We have a Zati shirt. And it looks like it is a South Park shirt. And it is an officially licensed shirt. It is a navy blue color. You can take a look at it first. And what do we got? Alright, what do you think? I'm not a big South Park fan, to be honest. I don't really uh, watch it, so... To me, the shirt's kind of eh. It doesn't really do anything for me, but I know of a lot of people who are South Park fans, so I am not going to have any problem finding a home for that one. Next up, we have what looks like a bath mat. Hidden staircase. So this is, looks like from Legend of Zelda. And yeah, it looks like it's a bath mat. That's funny. It is the hidden staircase. So when I climb in and out of my shower or my bath, I will be able to take the hidden staircase back to the reality world. So that's kind of funny. Next up we have, we pull out a few things here. All right, so next up is the pin. And they are, have done a Ninja Turtles version. And I got Raphael. And the rare this time, of course, is Shredder. I really do love these, these uh, fuel pins. I think these are very clever. And I love the packaging that they come in. So that's really fun. All right. And then the last item that we have is a blind bag Deadpool item. It is a collectible mini and it looks like it's almost done in a snow globe or dome style. I'm actually not going to open this because I am not a Deadpool fan. And so this is probably something that I'm going to go ahead and donate to the gift box collection that I donate to which provides donations to teens in our area and I think this will probably appeal more towards that demographic than it does to me. So I'm not going to open this up. <clears throat> Alright, so the last thing that we have is the spoiler card. The Turtles Edition enamel pins. Uh, dwarf Run downloadable Steam game, the Hidden Staircase floor mat. So I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be a bath mat. It's just kind of a floor mat. So, but anyway. And the Deadpool Domes collectible minis. And there's one of nine possibilities in there. So those are all of the items in this month's Geek Fuel. I have to say that 
I'm kind of eh on this box this time around, but that's only because they don't appeal to my personal fandoms, and they can't do that every time because that would be impossible. So I like the floor mat. That'll stay with me. Um, I like the pin. That'll stay with me. The other things I'm kind of eh on, and they'll probably get passed along. But, again, that's my personal preference for the types of things that I like to collect and that's nothing on what those items were I think that a lot of people who are who do like those franchises will be very happy with it so the box is kind of a miss for me this time around but that's just personal preference it's nothing against the actual box itself so if you like these items let me know what you thought about it what did you get did you get the the turtle pins I definitely kind of want to know your feedback on it your take on it do these kinds of things appeal to you or were you kind of eh on the box I'm looking forward to now that I've opened this box to going and checking out some of the other unboxing channels that I watch to see what their reactions were I have a feeling at least with a couple of, of people that I do watch that this probably went over really well with them so I'm looking forward to kind of seeing their reactions to it so anyway again if you're interested in geek fuel the the link is down below definitely check them out and otherwise we will see you next time bye